Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this week we're going to mix things up a little bit as I got a pretty busy week. I don't have a whole lot of time to sculpt, unfortunately. We'll get back to it next week. Um, but I did want to show you this cool resource that I found um, from a fellow sculptor on YouTube. I think he goes by the name of Folygon. And I do believe he's a big ZBrush blender uh, user. But he went ahead and sculpted up a variety of different head shapes, jaw shapes, um, body types, and is selling them as uh, meshes that you can use for various 3D programs, such as ZBrush and Blender and things like that. But you can also bring them into Nomad um, as an OBJ file. But you can see all the different kinds of head shapes you can use and they're all interchangeable because they're all individual pieces so you could mix you know one head shape with another chin shape with another nose shape uh he also has these different body shapes which you know if you're sculpting pretty routinely this could really uh speed up your workflow immensely so i kind of wanted to show you um, how this whole thing works. So I went ahead and I bought it. They're, I think they're on sale right now for 60 or $70, which, you know, in the grand scheme of things, is not bad at all. So I will go to import, and I believe I have it here on my, one of these, iCloud Drive, I think it is. Mod Mesh, there we go. And I'm just going to show you, we'll start with the head. Um, you have all these different file types, FBX, OBJ, ZBrush. For Nomad, the OBJ files work just fine. And these ones are uh, pre-put together, meaning there's a set jaw uh, shape, a set forehead shape, a set nose shape. Um, here, we'll do the brute. And we'll just open... And that will bring that right into your scene. And there it is. Let's rotate this. See if we can get this straight. It does need rotated. That is the only thing I've figured out. There we go. But you can see, I mean, it's fantastic. Now, when you look at it in your scene setup, it brings it in, in as a group but you can separate that group and then you have individual everything, you know, it's great. Here, let's do another one. Let's uh, import. Maybe we'll do like, um, Oh, this monk one is cool. I'm actually using this for a project. Then add to scene. Scoot this guy off to the side. Whoop. How cool is that? You have a pre-made shape that for stylized sculpting, it really does make sense. You know, and it's as simple as, you know, that comes in as a group, you just separate it, and then you have control of all of that. Now, let's get rid of all these. Whoop. Let's go back. You can also import. Whoop, what happened? Import. You can also do it by, I think, is it head fusion? I think it was. Let's try this. Add to scene. There was a way of doing it where it was individual. Um, all the different shapes. Okay. These are put together. I 
Was it maybe in the library? Yeah, here. Let's try this. You have to do it as an FBX file. And it, it does put them all on top of each other, but now you have all of them available. Like literally everything. Let's turn all this off. So if you really wanted to like pick and choose and make something interesting, kill all these, whoop. You can mix and match, so to speak, till you get the look that you're after which is amazing. Okay. What is going on here? All these are, oh, I got a lot more. That's why there's a ton of them. And you can, within the file structure, he has like a, a library file or a JPEG file that shows what each shape is according to its name. So like if I wanted to do the Oni skull and then come up and do the Oni jaw, I could do that or I could do a different jaw. You see how it's all broken down until you get something that, you know, interests you. Works for your sculpt. We'll do render man jaw and then I'll come down further to the necks and you can pick a neckline. I like that. We'll do macho neck and then ears. That's kind of cool. And we'll do Luma ears. And I believe a nose. Yeah. Different nose shapes. So, whoop, let's turn two of them off. Now, some of them you can see you need to push and pull a little bit, but it's it's nothing, you know. Nothing you can't do. Let's go with that. Right? And you can see how it's kind of like a little bit blocky, but all you got to do, you know, is select that and subdivide you know, once or twice, and you get that beautiful smoothness to it. Let's do, uh, let's add in a body type. Whoop, import, just to show you quick. Body, we'll do that as an OBJ, and we'll pick macho. Add to scene. Maybe, there we go. And rotate that. And look how wonderful that is. Now this, it brings in the head with it. But again, you can just separate that. And if you have a different head, I'm just gonna delete, or turn that off. You know, all that. It can all be turned off or on, controlled at will. Whoop. Got Butterfingers today. How cool is that? And I'll show you something I'm working on just quick so you get an idea. And then, you know, it's it would be just a matter of taking that group and positioning it on your new head. That's it, you know? And you have a, basically a, an A-pose character ready to be detailed out. Yeah, it's super, super cool. And like I said, everything is, whoop, everything is selectable, changeable, right? 
It would have been nice. The only thing I think that would have been nice. Um, yeah, you can even separate them further, I think. Oh, maybe not. Oh, I guess that only has one part. Okay. It would have been nice if the body types would have been separated even further so that, you know, you could bend the knee, stuff like that. That would have been cool. And maybe that's a future thing. I don't know. Um, let's see. Yeah, see, these are all one piece. But just for the heads alone, that could really speed things up for you, you know? Um, and I, I would be willing to bet you could probably split it up and break it up if you really had to. But yeah, I thought that was super cool. I'll show you one that I'm working on um, using this. I just love the look of this guy with the really long body, very stylized, interesting kind of feature. I built this using the the um, all the different faces that he has for it, a different head type, chin type, nose type, ears, all that. I selected all of it till I got something that I liked. And then this is one of the, I believe one of the arc type bodies. They are somewhat split, but they're not great. Um, but yeah, you, at the very least, it'd be a, it's a wonderful tool um, just to help explore shapes and come up with an idea for characters. This way you're not building stuff for hours on end and not getting it. This way you can kind of rough it out and see if it's actually gonna work for you um, very efficiently and very speedily. So. My hats are off to, to Folygon. I think he uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. Um, I'll add a link to, to where you can get it and where you can check it out um, in the description if you're interested. And uh, yeah, very, very cool. So um, that's going to do it for this week, guys. I appreciate uh, you guys watching and following and all that good stuff. So I'll see you next week. Take care. Thanks.